Hello, Edward Hobbs back with another video. This is one that's more for the beginners. Not long ago, I got curious and looked up just a simple act of how to pack and how to smoke a pipe on YouTube. Of course, I should have known better. Got more than what I bargained for. Now I usually don't don't watch beginner videos for beginners. But I watched about three of them. I have to admit they were enjoyable. So for packing a pipe, basically smoking a pipe, looking for your first pipe, I'll give you five people. have a look at uh, the first one would be the Hobbiton Piper Kevin I watched his I enjoyed it very much <coughs> he's easy to follow and there's Professor Walker yeah, he's pretty much straightforward And Jeffrey Alton Carter, the Renaissance Piper. And the other two? One well, is a dignified old gentleman. He's got a handful of the how to videos on smoking your pipe, picking out a pipe. The works. And that's Dell Piper. And the last one, I guess he needs no introduction. He's about the closest thing, I'd say, to a beginner's Bible to pipe smokers on YouTube. That's Mutton Chop Piper. But for those of you who have already been smoking for a little while, have a little word on celery. <laughs> now there's going to be several tin blends bulk blends that you enjoy and you're going to want to buy a lot of it I guess it's only natural um, you can use the basic Good old mason jar. Now, I'm not sure about acrylic. Since it is, I guess, a form of plastic, and I don't recommend plastic. But acrylic might be good. Somebody will have to get down in the comments and tell me. Otherwise, this good old glass or ceramic does the best job. And you can, oh, I guess, go to you like your dollar store, maybe, or do what my brother did for me. He got this as a Christmas present to me a long time ago at a flea market. An old cigar jar. And the tobacco in it's still good and aging very nicely. Been aging for about 10 years. Or you can do what I do. These also come in all sorts of sizes. Right here, wherever size you need. 
and it's got this nice little flip top with a seal on it. You want it, your containers to be on the airtight side. And this does a pretty good job. But she seals up very, very nicely. And keep all your tobacco that you have jarred out of direct sunlight. Now, when some people think of selling, they think you actually got something like a wine, something equivalent to a wine cellar. Root cellar, I guess. Or some dank old dungeon. <coughs> Most of the time, it's just Oh, on top of a dresser, on a bookshelf, in some cases, right in a dresser drawer. And I'd like to do a shout out to, I think his name is Phil. Badger Ash. As today I'm smoking more of the match blends, Vulcan Sobrani 795. Been smoking it for over a week now. And it's growed on me. So this is another blend I'll be cellaring up. Oh, and there's one more name. For those beginners who are just getting started. I almost forgot him. I think his name is Adam. And he and it's Get Pike. He's a lot of fun to listen to. Drop in on him too. Okay, that's all I got. Thank you for dropping in on me. I'll be back with another video.